Hello and welcome to Plants vs. Zombies. Well, just Plants vs. Zombies on the Xbox 360 because I don't really see many Let's Plays of the Xbox 360 and it is a good port. I'll maybe cover all these, so. There's Adventure Mode. We're going to be starting here, but there's leaderboards, achievements, system settings, the Microsoft Store. Don't hit that. It takes you out of the game. And extras, which is just all... All this stuff. I'll I'll do those later, except for these two. I don't really think they warrant. So let's just start the game and get to Tower Defense. It's Tower Defense, basically. Popcap Games presents Plants vs. Zombies. Use plants to defend from zombies. It's also very quiet. Hold on. Like it is exceedingly quiet here. Press A to plant on your grass. So, you can move with the analog stick in the Xbox port, or you can just use the D-pad. I'm probably going to use the D-pad. You can go over the sun to collect it, or because, you know, this is slower than a mouse, you can hold left trigger and it'll, it'll drag it in. Like so. It's nice. I also think the zombie ways are kind of slightly altered. But naturally, this is like the beginning. They're going easy on you. There's one leg. I don't really think you can fail this. Because they make you place two down. I'm going to put more though. They make you put two down and you can't remove them. So I don't think you can actually fail. No. There's not much to talk about because it's just the beginning. So, basically, so the pea shooters are, they shoot one projectile. I think it's kind of like stock damage. And those are the basic zombies that have the least health but appear up the most. So, they can be hard to manage. So, our new plant's the sunflower. It gives you additional sun. I think this is where they up the ante with more lanes. Yeah, the beginning of this game is going to be pathetically easy. So this is Sunflower. You're going to have this guy pretty much everywhere. As it says, it is, it, uh, it is important. The Sunflower produces sun. Which then you can use to put more Sunflowers. And then more plants. It's basically the best way to get sun. They say to plant three, or like just, they, the game wants you to put like one a row, but I honestly kind of like putting more. Should be easy enough though. Like the game's not going to go ballistic or anything. I don't really know how much time has to pass though. I'll put you... Th I'll put you there. So this should be good. I forgot how, like, easy the beginning of this game is. They introduce more zombies and more types and more plants and different gimmicks and it becomes fun. It's, it's pretty good. I do like how they ported this game, though. It would be very... It's very tricky to port, like, some PC games to console and some console games to PC because they are built with a completely different control scheme. But they made it work. I, I, do, I do respect it. The only problem is, is in order to get to the interesting stuff, we have to go through the boring stuff, which is pretty much... So what are your plants? Uh, kind of forgot. Um, so I had to make a new Xbox account offline because for whatever reason, you can't just hit new game in the Xbox port or else you can and I'm stupid because 
I looked around in the settings everywhere. I could not start a new game. But that's a cherry bomb. Blow up all zombies in the area. It's, mm, how do you call it? Uh, it's like a panic tool. You drop it into an area, it just blows up and destroys everything in the area, but it's expensive and takes forever to charge. <gasps> We've got the cone zombies. That means they have more health, but that, 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 that's about it. Look at how slow this charge is. By the way, you can see like the charge. You can't just keep planting them. They have to fill up before they're able to be planted. You can kind of see how long the cherry bomb takes to go up. You, you can't hold off an entire thing on your own using the cherry bomb. The zombies, however, are slow enough that you can get some pretty good time. And they don't deal a whole lot of damage. I'm moving those forward. I kind of want more sunflowers. By the way, it's worth pointing out, even though it, like, takes their head off, they don't hurt you without their head. They just kind of walk forward for a little bit, because, you know, they're zombies and all that. I don't really think we're going to be able to use the cherry bomb. Maybe I should try use the cherry bomb. Just to show off what it does. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. That sounds reasonable. Shouldn't have done that, actually. Now, now, now that I think about it. Shouldn't have done that. Never mind, we got it. Should I plant more sun? I will, I will. I'll save for the end. As you can see in the bottom right, there's a progress bar... There are points, and I'm pretty sure it does... Where you see flags or lines in the bar is oh, a horde, basically. A big group of zombies... Oh, there they are. A big group of zombies will come in. You'll have to deal with them. That's where it gets hard. These in-betweens are not hard. But, there's the cone zombie, and as you can see, they have quite a bit more health. Um... One pea shooter can take it on their own, but it's pretty tricky. I'm saving the cherry bomb for then. It's pretty good though. I would I would kinda recommend just having the cherry bomb, like as a panic tool. You can just place it, it'll blow up. I'm actually gonna plant some more plants. I wanna take this guy out fast. Uh-oh. Whew. He didn't take down my uh, pea shooter. Oh, here we go. Let's let let's let's put it somewhere. Uh, let's put the cherry bomb. Oh, it hits every row. I'm gonna just go put it here. As you can see, it hits every row, which is very nice of it. It's pretty devastating. No. Walnuts are interesting. Walnuts are your lines of defense. You, you kind of want walnuts. I mean, you. I wouldn't need walnut. Oh, here we go. It's getting real. Now, as you can see, walnuts charge up slow, but not as slow as the cherry bomb does. I, I don't really feel like I need walnuts, but I'll, I'll put some down just to show what they do. Uh, preferably not there. Probably not there. I'll put you here. It, it'll be fine, don't worry. Music's nice in this game. I like the music. Which row is that? That is, um... That's, uh... Fourth, yeah. You can tell which row the zombies are coming from just by looking at the bushes. Oh, if they could spawn more zombies on the rows that already have things, that would be great. I don't think they are. I think they're in the middle. Yup. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the one and only. 
And more flowers. This is how I... You can win most of this game using pea shooters and just sun. And walnuts. Walnuts are good. There's sometimes where the walnut isn't good. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, one pea shooter should be able to do this. Oh, this might be my chance to show off the walnut. How far do you think he's going to make? Here? I'll put it there. So the walnut does, it's a shield. It, it stops the zombies. It delays them. As you're about to see, he has to stop and eat. And unlike pretty much every single thing, most plants have no health whatsoever. Like, they'll die incredibly fast. But walnuts have a lot of health. And they do show damage. So as you can see, that guy is kind of... There's like... Ooh, how do I say this? There's about two stage, three stages. Undamaged, damaged, heavily damaged. And then the heavily damaged is their last legs. Actually, I'm, I'm going to start placing walnuts around. It is a little bit disheartening that the walnuts whole thing is that they start looking really sad. Problem is walnuts take a long time to build up so you sort of need to keep planting them early. I am going to just keep laying down pea shooters though. As I said you can beat most of the game pea shooters. By the way I am going to be using all of the car all of the plants the first time I get them even if they're not good plants I should have laid laid that there that would have been better although I can't just blow up the final wave the final wave is now I'm, I'm not gonna do it I'm just I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna do it powie there goes two waves ah here we go. This is something, uh... I feel like I should have given you this from the start. Let you make room... I mean, let you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. I feel like they should have let you do this. N normally. What was that noise? Hold on, there's... Something's making noise. Ah, it's fine. Ah, it's fine. Oof. Sh should I? Oh, wait. We're, go we're going to watch this. This is Crazy Dave. He's going to give us a tutorial. The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I got a surprise for you. First, I need you to clear your lawn. Hold on a second. My computer or laptop is beginning to run out of battery. Forgot I had even. Oh, I forgot I had even done this. Oh, very professional. That's what I do. Anyway, but first I need to clear your lawn. Use those shovel to dig up your plants. Let the digging commence. And then this is just how you remove plants. I feel like you should have had this. Okay, goody. Now besides. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because he's crazy. Now go bowl me a winner. We're gonna do this next time, okay?